Breaking, Secret Service frantic after Trump family's worst nightmare just showed up. The first family cannot seem to catch a break, especially after the horrific attack brought on by a comedian who thought it was funny to pretend to behead our president on television. As the fallout for that D-list celebrity rages on and Barron is still trying to recover from having seen it and thinking it was real at first, the family just got more bad news after their worst nightmare showed up. Without question, the Trumps have been attacked more than any other sitting presidential family in history. The liberal left knows no bounds and will stop at nothing to take Trump and anyone in his immediate family down. The relentless attempt to impeach him is proving to be futile with each passing day they fail to get their wish. There's been no shortage of assassination threats as well, which has somehow become acceptable speech on social media, rather than being the actual crime that it is. After a series of fence jumpers have been stopped short of the White House doors, this constant security breach seemed to slow down, only to return with a vengeance. Simply jumping a fence isn't assertive enough for those wanting to get to the family and cause harm, now these lunatics are trying to get them in other ways that could be more dangerous to the public than to the president and his family. Security was frantic this afternoon in Washington, D.C., not at the White House, but at one of Trump's other famed locations. A 43-year-old man from Pennsylvania was staying at Trump International in the nation's capital, but his plans there appeared to be more than for rest, relation, and taking in the luxurious accommodations. According to Western journalism, the suspect said he was staying at the hotel because he's a supporter of President Donald Trump. However, outside law enforcement agencies revealed to ABC News something terrifying that suggests his stay wasn't in support of our president but perhaps had ulterior motives in mind. The agency said that they were told by a passerby that the man had weapons in his car after having noticed the guns when walking by it. This is what prompted them to call the police. Western Journalism reports, police spokesman Dustin Sternbeck told the Washington Post that D.C. police received a tip from an out-of-state law enforcement agency shortly after midnight that moles had made threatening remarks. According to WRC-TV in Washington, D.C. police and the Secret Service responded and contacted hotel security, who found the suspect's vehicle in the parking garage. Police found one of the guns in plain view inside the suspect's car, the other was found in the glove compartment. The suspect was arrested on Wednesday and faces a maximum five years in prison and slash or up to a $12,500 fine after officers discovered an AR rifle, Glock pistol, and 90 rounds of ammunition in his car parked at the hotel. The suspect claimed to be a military veteran suffering from PTSD, although that has yet to be substantiated. Perhaps he was just a hotel guest who had weapons stored in his car and used poor judgment in leaving them in plain view. It's unclear on what or if this man had a motive, but given the location and the threatening talk he was allegedly heard saying and the weaponry to do something about it, all of these things need to be taken seriously. People's lives depend on it and innocent civilians could have been at risk since they are easier to get to that the president and his family. Attacks at Trump's business are a real threat, since to those who despise him, destroying his property is the next best thing to destroying him personally. It's interesting to note that this incident occurred within hours of a famous comedian going viral for her deplorable video of her holding a severed and bloody replica Trump head. Hateful acts like this inspire other idiots to do the same or one-up the other. There may have not been any connection between the two, but there is one main difference that needs to be addressed. The famous comedian in Hollywood wasn't arrested and the male citizen was. Seeing that there was no recourse for sets a double standard and horrific example. People expect to get away with threatening our president and slash or his property which is simply unacceptable. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.